The video, which shows you the immediate power of the fire, was captured by Pasadena resident John Sandell, who lives in the area. On his home video camera, he captured what is believed to be the second fireball, which ripped through the Phillips plant shortly after one in the afternoon. From the sky, pictures of the scene shortly afterward. Phillips spokespeople say the seal of a polyethylene reactor blew, spewing highly explosive chemicals in the air. On the ground, we captured another explosion. There were an estimated five to 600 people in the plan at the time of the explosion. Those who could ran for their lives. As soon as we crossed, uh, we made it across Jefferson's Road, it, you know, everything just exploded. And I don't know what happened after that, you know. It just, it just one, uh, one boom up to the other, you know. Felipe Olvera and other plant workers gathered at the Phillips Employees Credit Union near the command post. Phillips asked employees to check in so they could assess the number of survivors. Plant workers are anxiously awaiting word. You have friends in there? Yes, I do. And that's why I'm back here now to see how many of them made it out, if I can find out. In a late evening briefing, Phillips President Glenn Cox said family members of those unaccounted for have been or will be visited by Phillips representatives. Well, I, I think all of us as, as Phillips employees uh, feel a personal loss. The, uh, we know these people, we worked with them, and uh, we, we pray for their safety, and it's, it's a difficult time for all of us. Liz Exon, 13 Eyewitness News. The black smoke and fire seen from State Highway 225 within a half hour of the explosion shows the magnitude of the disaster. Our camera captured what appears to be another minor explosion. You can see materials catapulted into the air to the right of the screen. Gathered at 225 in Jefferson, many of the Phillips employees who were in the plant when the explosion occurred and ran for their lives. The metal was flying in the air and it's, uh, it's blowing up. Could you feel the impact? Oh, it knocked me about 30 feet. And you just got up and started running? We started running. I jumped the fence and ran over the pasture there and just kept on running. Do you have friends in there? Yeah. I've got a lot of friends in there. People I work with. No telling how many people uh, didn't get out of there. According to a Phillips spokesman, five to six hundred people were working in the plan at the time of the explosion. But no one can say exactly how many were in Unit 5, the reactor which blew a seal. It was a polyethylene reactor. That would mean that the chemicals that were released were ethylene and isobutane. Those chemicals are not toxic, but they are highly explosive. Ambulances have been transporting injured from the scene. However, the heat and the enormity of the fire kept life flight helicopters at bay.